I'm going to show you how I created this. Just uh, take away what you want and uh, and forget what you don't need. So I first I had this layer. I did Control J to make a copy of that layer, and then I um, selected it. So I had Control J, made a copy of that, and then hit Alt Delete to change it to black. Now Control Delete would have changed it to white. It would have changed it to this color. Alt Delete changes it to black. I want to make sure that opacity is at 100. And then I brought this opacity down to 64% just to darken the image a bit. That was the idea there. 64% worked for me. Then I brought in my text. I uh, got my text ready. And from here, I did something uh, that I just want to show you guys. It's, it's a pretty uh, simple technique. You can do a lot of, of stuff with this. I got my quick selection tool. And I selected all my letters. And you can do this with a logo. You can do this with any anything and make just some cool effects. So once I selected all my letters, I went back to my layer copy, control J to make a punch out. So if I show you just what that is, I made a punch out of just those letters. Okay. Um, but now I want to uh, bring the opacity of this one all the way up to 100%. And I'm going to apply some effects to it. Uh, first, I'm going to apply a gradient overlay. Now this gradient overlay, I have it set to normal, the opacity at 37%, and I made it black to white with the uh, middle piece closer to the black end. I then made sure this was on solid, smoothing this 100%, and I made sure that it wasn't on reverse. Uh, you can do it either way depending on the image, of course. That's what a reverse gives you. I wanted it like this. I have it on linear, and the scale set to 111%. Now that's the only effect I use. You can you can do other stuff. You can do it outer glows. I mean, all sorts of stuff. But for this one, all I used was a gradient overlay. And then I went in. I got my eraser tool, which is E. Um, I made the brush big enough by using my bracket. The, the brackets on your keyboard can make it, uh, right bracket makes it bigger, left bracket makes it smaller made it about that size and then I went up and I, I just made the hardness I brought the hardness down a lot let's say 28% is good and then I just very uh, quickly ran over the bottom of this just a little bit to really smooth out that edge like that and there you have it there is our uh, and now I got too much of that L on that run so I'm gonna back step and I'm gonna back step again let me get that E back, eraser tool back. I'm going to do that one more time. This one I'm just going to don't go so crazy. I like that better. Maybe just a little more. But play around with it, guys. Get it to how you like it. Just know that there's a lot you can do there. and You can create cool effects like this very simply. Hope you guys enjoyed. Blessings.